The Edinburgh girls basketball team earned its spot in the third round thanks to a 15-point win against a San Antonio Sotomayor EHS facing another San Antonio area school in the regional quarterfinals. The Bobcats have taken on the Harlan Hawks in Laredo to the Gateway City. We go early fourth quarter. Bobcats down by 10. Madison Martinez receiving the rock. No hesitation. She pulls the trigger. Nothing but net. After a stop on defense, Kimora Fagan off a screen, kissing it off of the glass. A quick five points, cutting the lead in half. Under five minutes to go. Lead back to seven. Atterberg hounding Harlan Fagan with the steal. And two more on the break of 46 of 41 at this point. After a Hawks bucket, Bobcats respond. Martinez kicking it out to Emily Carranco, who hits it from deep. 48 44. The Bobcats would get it down to a one possession ball game, but Harlan always had an answer. The Hawks go on to win 57 to 49 at the final. In 5A, the Velo Sabercats are taking on Flower Bluff in Kingsville. The Hornets working down to Justine Aguilar for the easy basket. Then it's Flower Bluff's Maddie Robinson knocking down the jumper from just inside the free throw line. Back at the other end, a deflected pass lands in Madison Cantu's hands. The shot is a good. Flower Bluff, though, overpowering Vela. The Hornets sting the Sabercats 49-26. In taps of 5A St. Joseph facing Katie St. John Bloodhounds. Applying the full court press, Regina Tovad picks off the pass and lays it in. Hounds up 46 to 24. Fourth quarter now, Tovad driving. The ball gets out to Shauna Mireles. She toes the line and tickles of the twine. The Hounds win 63 to 36. In boys hoops, the first round of the playoffs wrapping up tonight over at Harlingen. The Cardinals hosting the Mission Eagles. Harlingen earned a share of the district, a 32-6A title. First quarter, Eagles kick it out to Leon Villarreal, who lets the three ball from way outside fly. Eagles up 9-8. Eagles now setting a screen for Israel Cerda. He drives inside and gets the layup to fall. Mission up 11-9. Later on, Harlingen's Luis Rodriguez crosses up his man. And check out the nice dish inside to Joaquin Cisneros. Patience pays off. He lets a couple defenders fly by and scores off the window. Harlingen moving the ball nicely once again. This time it's a butter Aleman with the smooth fake and baby hook. Cardinals up 17 to 15. Harlingen forcing a turnover. Rodriguez ahead of the pack for the easy deuce. Harlingen coming out victorious. Cardinals win 66 to 47. Over at Pioneer, the Diamondbacks hosting 32-5A champion Wessico East. We'll pick it up in the second half. East a trailing by three points. Zion Rodriguez driving inside. He draws a foul and one finish for Rodriguez, tying the game up at 25. Next possession, Wildcats push it in transition. Jediah Rivens off of the glass, so that gives the East a lead late in the third quarter. Pioneer refusing to go away in the fourth. Diamondbacks rebound the air ball, kick it out to Edward Chavez. His three gives Pioneer the lead once again. Then Josh Gaither driving. He lays it in to give the Diamondbacks a four-point lead with under two minutes to go. The Wildcats in do-or-die mode. EJ Garza pulls the trigger from the corner. Nothing but nylon to make it a one-point game. Six seconds to go east with one final play out of the timeout. Garza contested the whole way through. Shot is up. Just no good though right there as Pioneer upsets Wessico East. A D-backs win 42-40. to Back and forth game. We knew Wesco East coming out of that district. District champions, uh, they're coming in here with, uh, with a win on, on, on their mind. But uh, we knew if we put our best foot forward, we, had, uh, we have guys, three, four years of experience on varsity. So uh, we really lean on the, on the seniors tonight. Over at Edinburgh North, Port Isabel facing Alice. The Tarpons off and running from the tip. A little brotherly love. Christian Smith gives it up to Jeffrey Smith. Bank is open. Three ball is good. A few possessions later. The Tarpons moving it at the top of the key. Cleveland Smith fires from beyond the arc. That one rattles in. Port Isabel wins a 90 to 58.